Hi guys, Chris here with Physio Training and my weekly video. And as you can see, I'm in a separate, different spot. I'm not in the lab. I haven't been there today because I'm visiting my students out in their internships. And I actually am very happy for them and they're doing fantastic. So, shout out to them. Um, you know, reminding you of my book and the prevention of uh, injuries that I have in this book. And particularly, I noticed that when I drive a lot, I have pain in my hips and in my low back. Right, and I figured you guys probably have that too. I was driving all over West Palm, all the way to the route, which is very, very uh, far distances here in Florida. And so basically, what we're trying to do is teach you some prevention stretches that are going to help you get through the end of the day. So stay tuned, click on the next video, and let's do some other stretches, okay? Take care. Okay guys, so one of the first stretches you wanna do if you're sitting for a long time, if you're in a meeting, or if you're driving, um, you know, if, if somebody's driving and you're in a passenger seat, is you wanna stretch your calves, okay? So basically, you want to make sure that you're, um, you are extending your knees, straightening it out, and you're pulling the toes towards you. It can be an active stretch, or you can take and give it a, a little bit of a stretch, okay? So you wanna make sure that your leg is mobile, while you are sitting. You don't want to be in this position for a long time. It causes some risks um, on preventing, on uh, developing some clots on your calf, okay? So the other stretch you want to do is you want to kind of cross your leg, grab the, the front of your, uh, of your feet, and sort of pull the other way. It's a weird motion, right? So you're pulling your foot back this way, but it's going to stretch the front of your leg a little bit and uh, keep things balanced, okay? Now check out for the next one, is to stretch your low back. So one of the things that you want to do is um, get to a place that you can sit, okay, and you're going to um, put your feet in front of you, and only while sitting, never in standing, you are going to reach for your toes. So I want you to relax your body and reach for your toes with your, body, with your uh, behind sitting on the chair and you're going to feel that stretch come all the way from your hamstring all the way to your low back. And the last stretch that I want you to do is for your piriformis, which causes the majority of the pain in the hip, which is you're gonna cross your leg over, take your opposite hand, so my left hand to my right knee, and I'm gonna bring my body, my, my knee to my opposite shoulder, so it looks a little bit like this, okay? Um, I should stand tall, when I sit tall, I should say, and make sure that you feel a stretch right there on your hip. So one last, the last stretch that I showed you is the piriformis stretch. I'm gonna show you on the other side so you can have an idea what it looks like. It looks a little funky. I am actually pulling to the opposite side, that's fine. And then what you do is you relax your leg and kind of just lean on top of it, okay? Just kind of relax a little bit and you're going to feel your stretching on that hip area. Guys, the stretches, um, different different research shows, but if you hold about 25 to 30 seconds, it should be a good amount of time to allow that flexibility to return slowly and uh, make sure you do it often, okay? And when you get home, make sure you click on the link right under this so that you can purchase my book. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye.